Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nock. Welcome along to a brand new video. Today, we are going to play Pac-Man 19 Old by Sliceth. This was a request that came in on email. Uh, last time you told me that you were still open for map suggestions, so here you go. So, let's um, load up the map. It's a BSP. And uh, see how we go on this one, I guess. So um, don't forget, if you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. We have a different intro than normal because uh, there is no description to read. Okay. So. Oh, well, that killed me, it seems. I didn't know where I was then for a start. Uh, what are the controls here? Seriously. The controls are really weird. I... I Okay. So it seems like the Peabody's chased me down. Oh no, they are set on a loop by the looks of it. I think like the Peabody's maybe move randomly, whereas the Atlas's just move up and down. Also, is this like like a Pokemon sprite or something? I know nothing about Pokemon, bear in mind, but um, yeah, kind of looks like a, a Pokemon sprite. See, so, yeah, I'm unsure whether or not they're actually like moving like a set pattern or. I don't. I don't really understand how they move. Talking about the Peabodies. Ah oh, man. Um, I would say the controls feel almost clunky-like, which is is weird. I, they're not very responsive. I don't know if that's just the way it's programmed or what. But um, yeah, that's, there's like a massive delay. I never really played that much Pac-Man as a kid. That's probably showing right now. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. It almost feels like like they react depending on where I've moved to. I just don't get. I don't. This. I just don't get how the people who move. This is crazy. Anybody like here understands how the the pea bodies are moving? That one didn't even get me for some reason. Um, please do feel free to drop me a hint in the comments. Because right now I don't have a Scooby as to what is going on with these. It just seems like they've you've uh, programmed them randomly, maybe size life F. Um, so I really don't understand how they move, why they move. Is it based on my actions and the way I move? 
but they're so... They give so much unpredictability. Which makes things difficult. Oh, hold on. Am I right in thinking? The cake affects their movement. As in, as I get cake, it slows them down. Is that what's happening here? <sighs> yeah, there's like a there's a delay. There's a big delay on. seems like when I get cake, they don't move as much as when I don't have cake. And everyone should have cake, man. Cake should be a dietary staple, I decided, even though I'm always on a diet. The cake is the best. It just moves on its own. I don't. I don't understand. Um. All right. Well. It's certainly an interesting concept. I feel it would need. It needs a bit more of an explanation of so that the player can understand a bit better how the how the pea bodies actually move. I. I don't. I don't, I can't understand it to a science to say, right, well, if I do this and this and this, um, this is going to happen. It just feels a little bit too random to me. Uh, maybe if you can either explain to me or somehow explain to the player a little bit better how this would, you know, how moving affects the Peabody's that might actually help. It's almost like if you're not full on cake, it, like, they just come for you. It's really weird. I'm sure there's like a better explanation than that, but that's the best. That's the best I can come up with right now. Course. That's like black hole all over again, I'm just making silly mistakes. Because I'm not being patient. Which is very out of character for me. Normally I'm a very patient guy. See, my concern is once I like rinse the top of the board here, then they're just gonna like come for me. Also, I'm all for adding drama into a map, but um, the song's getting like rather annoying to listen to over and over and over again on repeat. Um, be nice to have like something a bit different. Doesn't feel like the music was cut very well. Doesn't feel like the cut was very well in the music either. It starts very abruptly. I know it's meant to be like adding drama to what we're doing and stuff, but... Oh, 
move. So yeah, numerous things that I'm not a big fan of. So we've got the the whole Peabody movement is not great. Um, we'll do a tutorial of what we're actually meant to do and how everything works, etc., etc., etc. The movement, the own player movement, that the key input is just seems very laggy. And it doesn't always move to where I want it to move. So maybe if those things could be improved, the experience for the you the, the player would be a lot better. I just get the impression that if you stay on a it comes down to if you stay on a white tile for too long, that affects the Peabody and how it comes for you. But um, yeah, because of like the almost like input lag I'm experiencing, so like I, I pressed it once and it went down like th three or four times. It's not very easy to actually move and respond to where I actually want to go to. And then I don't forget the Atlas. So, um, yeah, interesting idea. Definitely an interesting idea. Just to make some potential tweaks to it. And it would play a lot better for the player. Because after a while, the, the player's just going to get frustrated with A, not knowing what to do. B, trying to do stuff and, 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 the, and the inputs just not responding the way you want them to, so. All right, well, interesting concept. Um, but yeah, like I said, uh, there's just a, f a few annoyances there for me, which kind of like make me not want to continue playing that. But um, thanks for requesting it anyway, Slice F. But guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe down below. If you've got any matches you'd like to play, please leave them in the comments or head over to my Google form. I'll link to that in the description. But until next time, I've been Ock. You've been awesome. See ya.